examination for removable patient. Examination for removable patient provide medical dental history and also intra and extra oral examination. And the third portion will be prosthodontic assessment. Extra-oral examination, you need to conduct complete intra- and extra-oral examination using good visualization and digital palpation. You basically examine the TMJ and the neck and the lip and then cheek area. Intraoral examination, you are examining on the mandibular lateral border of the tongue, base of the tongue, floor of the mouth, tonsillar region, and soft palate, and oropharynx. For the maxillary lesion, exam the denture bearing surfaces, the soft palate, tonsillar region, the vestibules, and the buccal mucosa. Please note the hamular notch and definition of tuberosity has to be observed and make sure you identify the location. When the patient lost their tooth, there's a consequence. Atrophy of supporting structure usually residual rich resorption occur after tooth loss and the direction of the loss maxillary are in vertical and palatal direction and mandibular loss is vertical and oriented along cross-sectional shape of the mandible so the resorption pattern are different between the maxilla and the mandible maxillary loss is in vertical and palatal direction and in a rate of 0.1 mm per year. Initial loss in first year greater but variable. On the other hand, the mandibular bone loss is four times greater than the maxillary loss. Of course, it very depends on the patient. This is average number of resorption pattern difference between the maxilla and the mandible. In summary, when the patient lost their teeth will result in residual rich resorption, changes in intraoral structures, decreased masticatory function, and also loss of facial support and muscle tonus. Of course, not to mention about psychosocial effects are affected follow through the teeth loss. The goal of complete denture treatment are to minimize the effect of these functional, aesthetic, and psychological compromise. During the intraoral examination, you also need to look into any pathology present with the patient. One of the most common pathology related to the denture wearing patient is chronic candidiasis. Its low saliva flow rate lead to increased number of fungal organism and as you notice on this picture there's a large fungus colonization on the hard palate and this one also could visibly seen on the candida infection on the palate there's also inflammatory fibrous hyperplasia are commonly seen with a denture wearing patient it's a fibrous hypoplasia begins as a traumatic ulcer secondary to an ill-fitting denture flange. And these white spot lesion. And when you try to put the denture over the border, the ill-fitting denture border cause this inflammatory process. Once you complete extra and intra oral examination, the next step is you doing prosthodontics assessment. You evaluate the patient current denture, 
whether it is well made or is poorly made, you need to look into what is happening on the current existing denture. These are the parameters that you need to look into. Retention, stability, vertical dimension of occlusion, centric relation, and aesthetics. And the denture has to be evaluated in these different parameters. And when it comes to the stability of maxillary complete denture, you apply unilateral forces to posterior occlusal surface to check the stability. To check the retention of maxillary complete denture, apply tipping force to incisor to break the seal of the posterior. When you have a proper retention and stability, it shouldn't have any displacement of the denture. The patient is wearing it. You could check also the stability and retention of mandibular denture and alternatively apply unilateral force. When you watch the video, denture raised up by itself by improperly seal, meaning lack of stability and lack of retention of this mandibular denture that you observe. So during the examination for the denture wearing patient, you look into the medical and dental history, and we look at the intra and extra oral examination and prostontic assessment. After you conducting these three elements, and at the end, we try to find out the attitude of a patient. It's called MM house classification. There are four different types classification of adventurous patient. The first type called the philosophical. The patient is rational, sensible, organized, and overcome conflicts. Their expectations about the denture are weird. Therefore, this is most reliable denture patient that we could treat. And second classification is called exacting. It's methodical, precise, and accurate, and places several demands when you're treating the patient. They're asking individual tooth position, the way it look, and it must reach an understanding before you start the treatment with the patient and looking for what patient wants and make sure what they want could be practically possible and deliverable. And then third classification is called hysterical. This patient emotionally unstable, excitable, apprehensive, and this type of patient usually need psychiatric help before we perform dental treatment or help. And the last classification is called indifferent. Apathetic, uninterested, uncooperative, and lack of motivation. And they tend to blame dentists for their poor health. And then, of course, pay no attention to instruction that we give to them. And indifferent type also, unfavorable prognosis of our removable service due to the patient behavior. So it is quite important to understand your MM house classification and what your patient fall into before you start the actual treatment.